this time, Kazunoko Goichi, your chat. Press one for Kazunoko, press two for Goichi. Who are you rooting for in that final first to five of the day for Japan? Let us go. West guys, City, I'm good. jamming. West City as well, come on, mm. man. You guys are Let's trying go. to make it as good as possible for us, man. I appreciate that. Let's go. This is going to be an excellent set, guys. See assist from Gotenx gets the hit early on. Bring you to the corner now. Do I Goku in here for Kazunoko? The character that was designed for Kazunoko. Okay. Marco the reflex. Goichi. Goichi's defense is going to be mighty important. Dayo had to put us completely missed. Yeah. And Goichi is going to keep the pressure on. Up the air. That's going to open him up. Goichi getting his first. Yep, that's a great one. Goichi knocked down here. But it's Kazunoko. Don't get comfortable. And, you know, wow, spark up early. And so here's the, cra here's the crazy thing about playing against Kazunoko. Because he's got such a, a, a history of doing these crazy, reckless options in game, already he's got the mental advantage on you. Because you knocked him down for the first time in the set, or, you know, several times in the set, and you're like, you're doubting yourself. Yeah, because you, you, you're not, scared. That, that's what happened uh, last week, right? Who played against Kazunoko last week? Uh, that was Bandaban, I think, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, who really, really was second guessing his uh, options every single yeah. time he had the knockdown. He was like, but Kazunoko can wake up with something, man. I can't really put pressure. And that's what Kazunoko won off. Yeah, and here we go. This is already an excellent back and forth match, guys. Okay, Gochi does get the hit, and the first character to go down will be Kazunoko's Ultra Instinct. So he's got plate. Boom. Plate no. finished. No bar needed. Nice. Plate finished indeed, and it's time for Gotenks back up with a Roshi. Oh, that's a nice block as well by yeah. Goichi on this, but the 2H! Oh, no Super Dash allowed! Yo! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Kazunoko uh -oh. combos. Yep, and he gets one more. Let's go. Pirates! Yep, this is it, man. Timon Kazunoko! Let's go! Those big 2H combos, man. <laughs> Gotenks got those. Yo! 22 November 2020 is the first time I've seen Kazunoko doing a region in my life. <laughs> More these dates. This is now a holiday. This is official oh, region day. Imagine scaling. <laughs> Imagine scaling, mom. Bro, this is ridiculous. Go tanks. Miracle punches the X version. It rever I feel like it reverses the scaling. <laughs> Alright, can look over the pressure. Ooh, great back dash, very clutch from Goichi to get the opening on that Gotenks. He's got a lot of bars there. Might choose to go for a level 3. No, gets the drop on that. Okay, here we go, though. And the no code, the 6M with the Roshi B assist. This is going to be Ghost Open time. Pull the squad, get them in there. Let's go. Alright. Oh, the homie still hanging out. Okay, nice choice. Ghost defending correctly. Alright, here we go. You can kill, right? Uh, I'm wondering if he could have... Uh, wait, no, no, he no, used no. the Vanish. I was like, is he going to Vanish into uh, Genki Dama? But he used the Vanish before. That's uh, the that question, but okay, it's okay. That's a mix. There is no spark. The delay. Yo, the Vanish to get out of the corner. My man's making this one work. And Kazunoko with a tap the air now. Oh. Should be able to build enough damage? Yes. Uh, I think one into three. Yeah. No. I don't yeah. think he yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He didn't go for the max damage, right? Like, he could have gone a bit more, just squeezed a tad bit more, but that's okay because the one touch to 6M is gonna be blocked. Koichi now in the corner into one oh. touch, and again the Dragon Rush is not tech. Kazunoko takes the lead. This is an excellent, excellent match already, guys. What a start to the set, the main event of the day. They are delivering now. Let's go. Oh! Unblockable! Unblockable! Bro. Don't jump! And let's go. Oh, he's got these on small body? Oh, alright, that's not easy. Well, listen. Is this, is this lockdown, Kazunoko? Is this the well, I have to be home, so I might as well go to training modes? Damn, on, on, on GT? That's, a, that's quite hard to do. GT and Freeza are the difficult one. I've got to say, Goichi has not uh, taken the single Dragon Rush there, which is very unfortunate. And that's gonna be uh, the double team to get the first game. Kazunoko, Conlos Combos is taking game number one. Only little thing is, you could have used the, the jar, you know, to finish this. Oh, uh, yeah. That's just but, like, slip. Like, give us one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. We can't have it all. Kazumoko is out here to win. He's not out here to entertain you guys, even though he is doing so with that excellent play. Bro, his Gotenks was looking quite fresh, bro. I was liking that. I was liking that. Uh, oh, recently, it's definitely looking good. Having recently been another another person that uh, went back to the Gotenks army, bro, uh, I love watching this guy play, man. It's so fun. So yeah. fun to watch. Yeah. Bro, th those miracle punches are crazy. <laughs> the damage. 
It's listen. He played Gotenks absolutely perfectly. Yeah, but I've yeah, got yeah. to say the thing uh, Goichi has been lacking in uh, surprisingly in defense because uh, three dragon rushes in a row on like you know opened him up right now. Like he hasn't taken these, so he knows. I mean, he obviously knows you know what was lacking in this game number one. But he's got to make sure that Kazunoko doesn't take too big of a lead right now. One nil on Kazunoko's side. Let's go. Koichi trying to bring it back. Zastrugesto. Oh, let's go. I, I can tell we're already in for an exciting set, man. That first match did set the tone. And, man, this is crazy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Back in, guys. Come on, boys. Who's ready? Who's ready? Kazunoko versus Goichi. Couldn't ask for a better closeout for the Japan League here. Now the match a lot of people have been waiting for. And, oh, the assist top team. That was an interesting interaction on this. Great movement by Goichi. Navigating around. No more C assists. Damn! All right, two it. Ready like that. I think as well. There's Toti side switch, yeah? Nice. Yo. Ooh, oh, that was a very early start. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Noko. He's getting the conversion, I can't blame him right now. Very early spark, but I understand. Like, Kazunoko, I think Kazunoko's priority against Goichi is to keep the team composition alive. He does not care about spark as a combat factor. He wants spark to keep the three characters because having two DP assists is mighty important to him. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna get himself some real good damage here. I believe he can kill as well. He does have the assist. That should be enough. DR. Yeah. Just get the level two. Yep, 10. Man, he has an Oko with an explosive start. If there is one player who has consistently been able to put Goichi under pressure in, in the world stage, it's Kazunoko. In season one, he absolutely like mastered Goichi. In season two, even though he played less, he managed to like really put oh, Goichi in the last. That was a very interesting side switch in this situation. And that's gonna be Yuai Goku. In the I don't corner. know. I don't even think that was intentional, but nah. man did it did it pay off. Look at this. Lockdown situation again! Yeah. Kazunoko is taking full advantage of these dragon rushes, man. He has seen Goichi has been unable to tech successfully. Get up the boys, Blair Witch Project, what you got for me? Oh, on restraint! This, this is Goichi. what I got for you. I got ignorance. Goichi unleashed! Okay. Oh, miracle! It's a miracle! It's an absolute miracle. He didn't have it was, but the draw. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't have, um, he couldn't extend. He could have been actually with us, did Yeah. Okay. There we go, big damage right now. Knockdown situation, level three on the way. You're Super Saiyan three? Well, guess what? I'm Super Saiyan four. Here we go. Well, go for the mix on this one. Kazunoko will have to block, of course, on this. This is his one non bp character as well. So you've got to block and tap the air, but he vanished out of this. Kazunoko is just preemptively oh. rushing, but this one is going to stop the tanks straight away. Goku sends the sons, the kids back to their rooms, and it's the master coming up now. All right. Okay. There we go. Power pole extend. Have to do this delay. Oh nice. my goodness. This guy is too stiff. Okay. And again. Show, show the, the master the level. Oh. Drop the mix up after this. And Strike, have you seen that backdash? That backdash was to bait a potential DP because he knows Kazunoko will dish it out. But so far, Kazunoko has been you know, fairly respectful in his gameplay. And I think that's part of the plan. He wants Goichi to believe that he will play respectful. And when Goichi will trust him enough, this is when the anime betrayal comes out. For real. Go level three right there. Oh, defensive the delay. Super dash, very good play for Goichi. He realized Kazunoko is going for a lot of Dragon Rushes, and now he's counterplaying that. So that was a really smart choice. Well, yeah. We know the great sneaker. He doesn't have the Vanish to uh, get closer as well, so he's just going to go for a oh, moon jump, nice. and that's going to be the Dragon Rush as well. Kazunoko not taking either Goichi, giving him a taste of his own medicine. Down to Roshi, and that's what you want to do against Kazunoko, because that Roshi so far has been the weakest thing in his team. Oh, no, here we go. Master Roshi. Okay. Awesome, man. Roshi, that's one of the reasons why Goku could achieve this level. Yep. You read the manga? Okay. Oh, you got to be so careful, though, because UI. You could just bust out at any moment. Oh, no! Let's go. Has an right here. Uh, if, he gets level, if he gets three bars, I think so, but... Yeah, yes. he's dead. There we go. Oh, the Kamehameha, the originator. Max power! Max power! Let's go. The shades, the red tinted shades. Come on, Roshi. 
<laughs> too much sauce, man. Too much sauce in this uh, in this guy. Uh, let's go. It is the master versus student battle. Oh, what the trade! Whoa. That was really weird. That was really weird. There we go. Okay. Is he gonna send him back on a, on an errand? <gasps> gonna make him gonna make him deliver some milk. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. go milk back! Time. Deliver that milk. Kazudoko. Where is it go? Get in the jaw. Get in the jaw. You close that jaw. Get oh. out. That's a bit harsh, man. Come on. Get, listen, I sent you to the West Coast because a player ordered blazing milk and you did not do it. Get in the jar. Get you in the jar. It. Listen, naughty step for you. Put in the jar. Hold that. Listen, man, you got to go back and deliver that milk. You weren't doing it good enough. Listen, you think you could... The turtle school? You think you deserve to be trained by the turtle school? Come on. Master Roshi out here with the red tinted shades. This guy's. <sighs> this guy is too sick. Tadio, that has been a, a huge, huge, Two zero? huge statement. Two zero. <laughs> Let's go, Dragon Ball Fighters. I love this, man. I love this. Let's go. Let's go. I am. I'm, I'm definitely uh, enjoying Kaznoko's gameplay uh, so far on this. Let's see if Goichi can bring it back because so far, so far, Goichi has absolutely struggled to keep Kazunoko's pace. Kazunoko is setting the pace, he's in control, two games ahead, can he keep going? Here we go, man, Kazunoko, can he keep, can he keep it up? Goichi, we know, we know how good he is at adapting to his opponents, but guess what, if this was a tournament bracket, Kazunoko already won. Yeah. He, he already won. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kazunoko, feeling, feeling confident. Yeah, and I think Kazunoko is one of the players against. It's really hard to make a comeback in a long set because he's obviously very adaptable, but also very, I don't care, you know, like very, I can just go for reversals and stop you from getting momentum. So it's going to be a hard Ooh. task for Goichi, but of course, he's going to get his own. It's opening time. Send this, this uh, UI Goku in the sliding back down. The spark up, Kazunoko. We've seen that early spark up from him and he's been using it to great effect. He got the hit and he is going to get a ton of meter right here, guys. We've got Roshi in the back. That's an easy chest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, another we're... opening. What is happening, Karen? Goichi's defense is absolutely troubling. I feel like Kazunoko uses that layered pressure. The reason he did use Roshi in the combo was because he wanted to use it on his, on his offense. He just used it there. It's the same thing we see people do with UI assist uh, a lot, UI ASD. Just approach them, call the assist and wait. You know, if they reflect, you know, you can, you can adjust to that. If they block, whatever. So, yeah. good play. Kazunoko going to get the kill. Go tanks in there. Yo, that, that kid who on Goichi's side has done absolutely nothing. I know. Uh, you know, in this set so far. Kazunoko has neutralized him to the max and the opening goes to Kazunoko once again, oh. but the BSC saves him. Master Roshi actually interrupted the combo. And I feel like Kazunoko right here, this season three, I feel like, oh, he got two. No, bro, he's a prophet. No. Okay, oh, shut up. <laughs> I mean, spark anyway. I can empty vanish this. Yeah, exactly. Miracle punches, don't care. Here's a miracle punch for you, kid. Oh, it was tag out, ace back. There you yeah, go. Yeah, that had to happen. And Goichi was too busy backdashing to create some space on this. But you know what? Get out. Bring that Gotenks back. No, no. What? No Dragon Rush? That's a 50% off right there, man. You can take 50% off Gotenks. I am very surprised he didn't immediately snap him. Yeah, I'm shocked. And Gotenks is one of the main damage dealers on the team. So, uh, I mean, Goichi, he's the man up there. He's the champ for a reason. Oh, there we go. And it paid off with this look now. Get the kill and get some damage off Gotenks as well. That was very fortunate, though. Yeah, that's too epic. Alright, no, doesn't need the extra bar on this. Gets the Roshi out, and now Gotenks, like what, 25% off? Listen, it's not quite Black Friday yet, but it's a sale you will take, you know? Yeah, you, you, you take those little, you know, those little uh, sales where you can. But Goichi, man, what a turnaround! Now he's in the lead all of a sudden. Damn. Now the pressure is put on that Gotenks, and straight to that GT Goku's level 3 is going to be time for the mix! 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 What's the block going to be from Kazunoko? Remember, he no, no, does not have a reversal with this character. Yes, he does not. Go tank. No. Oh, oh, man, opens up. Watch your dome. There we go. No, UI Goku into Kazunoko, the final, final character here for him. Now he's waiting for the 5S to work. See, that's why I would have liked to see more patience on this, because we can 6 that wow. as the UI Goku as well. Yeah, true. But, you know, no patience for now. Goichi's gonna take his time. Kazunoko's looking for the way in. It's 5S galore. 
Yeah, man. The air cannon. Or the defender, Kazumoto, though, takes the opportunity. The cross up being blocked by Goichi. Great one there. Oh, he's front. <laughs> you can't defend against a character forever, man. Okay. Oh. Come on, grab. Here we go. Uh, that was three time. What's it going to be here? Let's see what the option is going to be. Yeah, not the greatest mix up of course after this. No ball on Kazumoko's side. But let's see. Looks like the blocks are there. Oh, ah! Oh. Where is this working? Of course it does, man. It never fails. All right. Yeah, he's got back in. Him. Not go here, but get the corner position back at least. That's what he wants on this. Oh, oh that was an interesting. That's a very, very interesting interaction, but Goichi takes the best of it and Goichi validates his first win of this set, looking to at least bring it back against Kazunoko, make this first to five, a first to three, and it feels like Kazunoko has slowed down a tad bit on this one. Yeah, I mean, that one was hard though. Like, Goichi, when he adapts to your pace, yeah. it's, it's, it's long. Like, <laughs> it's long for man. <laughs> exactly, it's, 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 it's real long, long for man, so... Um, Kazanoko right now, I feel like he just needs to keep it up, you know, those games will happen. It's very, very, very unlikely you're going to get a clean sweep against Goichi anyway. So, you know, Kazanoko, I'm sure, he's not going to let this face him. He's just like, okay, you know, I'm just going to, those games are going to happen, I'm just going to get back in. Yeah. I actually, uh, you know, enjoy that, uh, that mindset, you know, when you see that from the players. Let's see, Kazanoko, of course, still got some room for maneuver. He's had an excellent start and he just has to keep it up. But Goichi, of course, is slowly but surely rising through that set. And this is why I love long sets, man. Long sets allow you to adapt, to come back, to try new strategies. Let's see if Goichi can bring it back. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go. Back in, guys. Ooh. Oh, man, the A assist again. Goichi gets the hit off of that. One of the most successful strategies we've seen. Okay. Oh, oh, he caught trying. Caught trying the DR. Okay, he's down time. Here we go. What's it going to be? And again. Okay, this should do it here. Enough, right? Ah, yeah. yeah this DR does a lot. Like the, the kid boo into UI Goku. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, does a lot. No. Oh, no. Wow, magic pixel. Definitely magic pixel. And he needs spot on this side. Oh, try and get something, but no. Okay, go. Ah, oh, he's out. So obviously there's like the lag and stuff, but like I wonder if it's on their end because nah. they're still doing all their combos. Yeah, I think I think it's on the spectator end. The spectator yeah. like happens sometimes. Yeah. Uh, because sure. like you wouldn't like you know land everything like this if it were actually uh, you know. Exactly. These guys are actually, side. unless they're absolute gods. <laughs> well, they are, to be honest. But, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, I believe it's spectator like I think the best is to recreate the lobby. Uh, after this set happens every once in a while, uh, to have the host not lose the sync. But at the moment, it's Goichi trying to navigate through this, and both of them waiting full screen. Ooh, yeah, that is not on their side, man. You do not super dash a beam like this. Yeah, I know, for sure. Yeah, this is definitely uh, spectator stuff. Okay. Down here, the CSC is going to get himself the knockdown situation into level three. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Try and get a bit more. I'm waiting, Goichi now. Ooh, the oh, the is going to pick him up. Tried, yeah, he tried the two edge. He tried the two edge with Goteng. One of the, I think Goteng's two edge is one of the best in the game actually. Yeah. But, uh, that did not pay off right there. Goichi should be able to get the kill on Goteng for this one. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's oh. it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, the game, that, that's not what happens when there is that spectator lag. Uh, you know, like you can actually lose the synchronization against the players being in Japan, which is unfortunate. It has not happened in six entire weeks of five different regions. <laughs> Why does it have to happen on Goichi versus Kazunoko? I, I, I wonder if it, so that actually must have kicked them out of the lobby as well, right? Uh, not, not necessarily. Okay, not so they, they might they, they might still be playing. Let's see, let's see if we can get an update because they might still be yeah, playing. Yeah, let, let me see. Uh, let me ask for the update because there are two solutions, right? Either they are still playing right now, and in this case, we let them you know finish this one. Either 
they've been kicked out of the lobby and the lobby crashed, uh, in which case, uh, you know, we can recreate the lobby and we'll have to like restart uh, this game. I'm, I'm actually so annoyed that of six weeks of five leagues, the one time this happens I know. is for Goichi Kazunoko. Like, Literally, the, the, the one time that we've had a dropout like that, you know, like a disconnect the lag and stuff is that's that sucks <laughs> i mean yeah i mean unfortunate it, it is what it is but you know yeah. we, we move we move we move yeah very very unfortunate when we are going to uh, recreate and get them back but uh, you know yeah it's like the lobby uh, uh yeah the lobby just uh, crashed and we're just gonna get to the next game of course you know very uh, unfortunate but we need to uh, you know this is uh this is need, uh, the life we need to deal with Goichi and Kazunoko being patient, we're gonna just recreate that one and get this, but man, like, I feel like Goichi, I mean, you know, seeing how this game was going at the moment, uh, Goichi was definitely looking good. Yeah, he was looking solid, man. Like, he was fully adapting to Kazunoko, yeah. um, you know, the, the, the play style that he was bringing to the table. But it's, it's not as easy to do that, you know, world-class players like these, uh, and having, having, having played both against both of these guys before, they, um, are so good at like knowing what you want to do and just sort of moving into positions and just controlling the screen in ways that you know it's so difficult for you to deal with these guys are just super good at that and um, to have two world champions going at it like that is it's kind of it's kind of crazy to watch honestly because yeah. they are trying to get one step ahead of a guy that you know, is, is also onto you. It's, it's, it's a really back and forth uh, situation. It's nice to watch. Absolutely. It's like, it's yeah. it's really good like to see this. And you know, I just told about something, Tarant. Uh I don't think we've ever seen an actual long set between these two, Goichi and Kazunoko. I, I don't think nope. I've ever seen a, Not a, first to five. a tournament conditions long set. Uh, the longest set I've seen from them was that Grand Finals in Malaysia where Kazunoko reset the bracket and then Goichi won, right? But a proper one long set, I don't think it's something uh, yep. that I've seen before. But yes, we're waiting, guys. Just gonna, uh, you know, recreate uh, the lobby to get the players back in. Waiting for the information. Of course, this is the final set of the day for Japan. Remember that Japan is gonna finish with this. But then, in a couple of hours later today, uh, we will have, of course, the U.S. East uh, going, you know, up and another day, of course, of uh, sets from America, which will decide who will clutch the playoffs will be out of the race it's a very very important uh you know week for all of the leagues and yeah week six out of seven man this these weeks have gone too fast it's it's actually crazy it's it's actually crazy uh we're just getting an update now guys to see if they they were able to finish the match or what happened with the players yeah so uh, all right going she yeah. said that they finished the match at least 2-2 Oh, 2-2, okay, cool. And uh, and waiting for Kazunoko to... I mean, I don't think Goichi would lie for this anyway. I'm like <laughs> waiting for... <laughs> yeah, yeah, is it though? Is it like Go Goichi trying to like, uh, trying to pull a madness on us? Goichi to... is too pure for that, you know? He's like... <laughs> try, try, he's trying to pull a fast one on us, guys. I don't know. Don't, uh... don't listen to him. Yeah, it's, it's like... Uh, well, I mean, I'm saying this, but all I can read on the chat is Goichi saying QQ and then Japanese characters. So I'm waiting for our translator uh, <laughs> to say this because maybe he's like, do we do QQ? Do we do, you know, like I actually, uh, you know, I I'm actually not entirely sure, you know, yet. But uh, let's see, you know, like waiting just for uh, the uh, this one. So let's uh, let's see, just waiting for uh, this. And of course, yeah, you can actually check the lobby battle log. But uh, guys, you know, Goichi is too pure for that, man. If Goichi says it's, it's too old. You know, Kazunoko is there to confirm as well. I'm just waiting for the chat uh, to be going on so we can move forward with the set, man. Like, this set has so far held all the promises we're expecting. I mean, honestly, that is... Um, that, that, that's exactly what I would hope we, we could see. You know, a back and forth match between these guys. Two of the best in the entire world at Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, and yeah, no, it's not going to be easy. And I'm, I'm glad they were able to finish that match because, you know, like, that's what we want. We want a smooth... Um, as possible for the players, you know, yeah. we yeah. don't want it. We don't want the, the the streaming experience to hinder what they're doing, what they're yeah. trying to do here. Um, so yeah, that's that's a good one that they were able to finish. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, th that's what we want, right? I mean, of course, remember that uh, the the reason you know why we did this like national championship and everything yeah. is to limit the issues that can happen due to online, right? Like when you when you keep it to one region, uh, when you you tend to like have an environment where the connections you can you know, like control a bit more, uh, you know, which exactly. makes more sense. Which is why having like friends for the players uh, have solid connections with each other, Spain as well. Uh, you know, that's like uh, the thing. We're just waiting. Uh, to have a bit more information guys so please of course bear with us as we wait for uh you know goichi and kazunoko to let us know uh, what's next of course it is ea first to five between these two and remember 
that at the moment on the rankings, Fenrich is the temporary first, and he's, he's at plus 20, right? Goichi started that set at uh, plus 18. So if Goichi uh, like wins by less of a two games difference, Fenrich will keep that first place, yeah. uh, which is going to be interesting, of course. And if Kazunoko wins, Fenrich definitely has a great uh, you know opportunity uh, to get this one because even since next week, Fenrich and uh, Fenrich and Goichi play, uh, Fenrich might be secure this one. So I know Fenrich is there. Fenrich is probably like, do I cheer for my boy Goichi <laughs> or do I cheer for the enemy because yeah. I don't want my boy to be first? I mean, he's a bit between. And yes, okay, I have the confirmation that I could finish the match indeed. Two, it two. is 2-0. Uh, so it is 2-2. Goichi brought it back and we are waiting for the lobby to be recreated so we can get that game and hopefully connection gods please bless us you've blessed us for six weeks in a row you've blessed us <laughs> for six weeks six five times leagues you know in a row like i think it's like what 27 leagues with with this that what and and you know bless us today yeah we need we need that man we need that in there we want to see uh the players have uh the ggs for us here yeah it's... but yeah we're going to be going back again guys so Hopefully we can get that lobby sap ASAP because um, you know we don't we, we don't want we don't want any of the, any, any of these issues, man. Like they happen, it's out of our control, but you know they can happen from time to time. So yeah. you know, like we said, six weeks, you know, one one of these situations ain't too bad. Yeah, it's a it's a really good one. Okay, all right, the players are rejoining the lobby. Okay, let's uh, go. right now after discussion uh, happens, and we are back in this. It is two all between these two. Game let's number go. five. That first to five is now a first to three, which is stuff that we've seen between these two in grand finals of different matches. It is time. Let's go. Kazunoko let's on the go. left, Goichi on the right. I'm I'm so hyped for this match, man. I'm excited, man. I'm ready for this. Kazunoko versus Goichi. I'm about it. Let's go. Two two as well. Yeah. It's a first to three from here, guys. Race to three. Oh, right. Damn. That, that's Roshi. what like, is, is so slippery because it's just like it's a straight line all the time. Uh, yeah. It can create some of these weird movement, but Goichi doesn't care. He's getting the opening. Yep. Back down here on the master. All right, Goichi's in. Oh, Goichi with a side switch as well. And a super dash follow up here. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, that was a big opening again, Goichi. And to jump 5 elbow. That was, yeah. uh, that was quite, uh, quite weird, but okay. The next stance gonna build that fifth bar, but no. It's the case, gonna stop him, and it's Yuai Goku in. Kazunoko saves his Gotenks. Okay, there we go. Dash, but the A assist once again sniping him. So we're gonna get level 1 into the level 3 here. Goichi, let's see what the mix will be. After level three, let's go. On to shared mix. Oh. It's not yeah, not into spark. Yeah, Kazunoko definitely has used very early sparks in this set. And we know why, you know, we know why. It's just because, uh, you know, he wants to keep that team composition against Goichi. They want to be reduced to less character. He knows how, how critical having assist is to open Goichi up. Yeah, very simple there, the frame kill and the safe jump. And that should do it right here. He does have a ton of damage on this team, the HC. He can even he can spend all the bars if he, if he has to. Yeah. You know, he can do level two, level three, level three. Okay, not gonna need that one though. We'll probably go for uh, level two two one, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, two two one is uh, the better solution. Kicks two bars on deck and that is gonna be a dead GT Goku. Kazunoko takes the lead, but Goichi still got spot. Alright. Go, Kazunoko. Yeah, trying to stay solid in the neutral now against Goichi, which is not going to be easy. Opened up! There we go. We saw Kazunoko using the Dragon Rush for great effect against Goichi earlier on in the set. And now it's up the other way around. Okay. Should be dead, right? Oh no, again! Goichi, the hits and decay! These combo rods are not the right ones. That's not just a drop, it's just a hits and decay that's stopping him from getting this. And Kazunoko is going to, of course, take his opportunity. Yep, that's it. Oh, what a bait right there. That was crazy good. Taking that DP out, making it whip, getting that punish. Oh man, there we go. Extend it out. That's gonna do it. Level two. Two on one, right here. Yeah, two on one, we'll do it. Roshi, let's go. Damn. Is he Damn. dead? Yes, yes, it is. Dominant from Kazunoko. Goichi down to his last character. He's got. 
He's got spot to walk with. He's got Kidbu. But Kazuluko is playing well right now, and the CS is going to open him up. There we go. Just going to go for the basic stuff. Get that knocked down. Kazunoko now. Far oh, from Goji. He was not feeling it. Has to use it. Oh. Yeah, hell no. Ah. Hell no. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to work. That's not, that's not going to work on him. No way. I was about to ask her, does he got the staircases? But I don't know if he can staircase uh, against Roshi, actually. But that should be enough. Level 3, Goichi gets as much damage as he can from this situation, and that's a dead Roshi. Yeah, but don't forget, this is Kid Buu Anchor. He can definitely make this happen. He's got yeah. some bars as well, so EX Buu Ball could be his best friend right here. Okay. Already spent two bars very quickly. Ooh. Yeah, he's... Oh, oh my god! Oh man, that was crazy! Okay, this time he's not in Spark, so I don't think he's gonna be able to kill, but that's a very good amount of damage. Goichi now actually is the one on the life lead. He just went over that T assist. Oh, the reflect! No way! What a defense! Oh. That, that was so sick. Wow, the reflect, and then he waited for the follow up. That's so sick. The 2 edge. Kazunoko now. Last character for him. Oh, the tech! Miracle punches are coming, I'm telling you. Oh, no! that was a terrible vanish. Can he he do can it? kill with this, right? If he doesn't drop this, he can kill with this, right? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Dynamite of no! kick. Oh, no, he dropped it. He needed another. I think he needed another hit on those um, on those air miracle punches. Oh, oh that's going to do it, Cousin Oko! Bro, that is going to do it right there. Three, two. Bro, Kazunoko is bringing it right now to Goichi, bro. Save! Damn. Saved! Go tanks. Bang! My god! Saved! Absolutely saved! Kazunoko clutching it! Listen, Goichi looked like he could actually bring this one back, but unfortunately, uh, you know, did not happen. Goichi uh, down one game. Kazunoko is keeping the lead right now on a 3-2, and these matches have been extremely close. Kazunoko two games away from, uh, you know, doing it another upset, you know, like beating one of the guys that we, you know, didn't expect to see defeated until the end of the league, but that's the beauty of the leagues, man. It's absolutely stacked leagues. We've seen Wawa losing in France. We've seen Shanks losing, you know, uh, you know, in, uh, in Spain. We've seen Cloud finally losing as well, you well, know, yeah, on the finally. West Coast. Uh, uh, like, these, these undefeated seats, you know, they're not, uh, it's not safe out there, man. It's not yeah. safe on these streets. Yeah, that's right. There is a... Uh... I mean, who's the only undefeated people now? I think it's just Sage, Goichi. Sage and Fenrich, I think. Sage and Fenrich, yeah. yeah. Sage and Fenrich, other two. Yeah. Right. Right, no, right there. There's no cat. No, he got two, he got two. Goichi, uh, yeah. Kipu, Kipu had the perfect numbers are kind of whack. Yeah, he didn't even, uh, like, try to... I'm not even sure I agree with this, uh... Roshi, yeah. Like, like uh, with was snapping in Roshi, but that's okay, you know, he's just gonna get in. And that could eliminate that BSC threat, which has been a big one, but straight to the spark, of course. Yeah, here we go. No, man, tap the heart every time. kazumoko has been making this work. Yeah, yeah, get that team back in order. That's what he wants. Yeah. Always wants that Roshi assist available, you know? Oh, he faced it down! Refuge of someone catching a uh, sniping UI Goku for a bad QH. That's that happened. It'd be like that. Everyone's new, you know, it's kind of there, but it happened. I guess this. Oh, he wants to level 3. Let's go. GT Goku's level 3. So, pressure now. Wow, Kazunoko not making an optional wake up. Oh, the Roshi! That's why he has that B assist available. That helped him out so much right there. Yeah, he just completely stopping his opening from taking initiatives in this situation. That's when I try. Oh, the AS is, is there. And now Goichi getting his own conversion. Back to the corner we go! Two, UI Goku, can air that GT recover some life. Okay. Right, I'm go here, trying to find that opening, but no, the neutral is so solid. Yeah, you know, the neutral is going to be yes. mighty important, you know, against, against Kazunoko, but the tap the air again. These DRs no. have not been teched by Goichi struggling today with these, and Kazunoko is going to send him down. Oh, he wanted the ghost, I think. Probably missing puts. I don't know. Yeah, he must have missed it there, but I can't believe he was able to convert this. 
Probably side switch, yeah. Knock him down. Might even set up the throw. Yeah. yeah. Alright, the boys are here. They reflect there. One more remains. Oh, the PR again. Goichi has not been able to protect these. Absolutely not dead. He uses the Ascus version to make sure he doesn't drop them. Yeah, no. And the follow up. Good stuff. Very nice. That's, that's another reason why Kazmiko plays this team. Get easy re jumped. You know, with those assists. You don't have to worry about dropping your combos online or whatever, you know? Oh my goodness. 214H, the disrespect ultra ignorance. It's his turn always. You have to respect it. That's no code. Solid here. Big hit of Bro. Last character now? Should be dead right here. Kazunoko looking good. Looking to make it a 4 2 over Goichi. Goichi has not been playing his best today, but let's see. It's gonna be the Ghosts. Dead GT Goku and Kazunoko now against one character looking to offer himself three match points. Mighty important moment. Yeah. All right. Okay. Kazunoko right here. Very, very healthy team. Three characters. Ooh, no. Okay. I got the super punch. Here we go, go. He got the hit though. Let's go. Hmm. I mean, I don't know about that. Definitely not. Definitely not. But he gets himself mid-screen pressure. What is it going to be for Goichi here? Oh, here comes super dash. Okay. Okay. Gonna go have, have some bars here. Can he kill? Uh, level two into level three. Ah, oh, level. I, I think level two into level two might have been better. Yeah. He's oh, still dead. just, Max just. Max power. Max power. The last hit as well. Damn. Okay. That paid up. Oh, I wasn't sure there because I, I was thinking maybe he could do level two, and then uh, the Roshi level two as well might have been a bit more. But that still did the job for Kazunoko four two. Him. Let's go. Definitely. That's uh listen, Kazunoko is absolutely showing up today, and Kazunoko is looking for one more game to beat Goichi. And I know that Fenrich uh, must be home, like yes, it's my time. Because remember, guys, that the way the playoffs the way the playoffs work is if you're first, you start the playoffs in grand finals. If you're second, you start them in semi-finals. And considering the playoffs will have Kazunoko, Goichi, Fenrich, and Banbaban, none of them want to play more sets than needed to get the win. Exactly, exactly. And Kazunoko though, he's in he's on set point right now against Goichi. We did not expect to see this. Um, Kazunoko came prepared and boy, is he ready. Let's go. Last, potentially the last game for Kazunoko here. That would be huge. 5-2, 5-2 would yeah. be absolutely huge. All right. Have the air to open this one. He said, you know what? I'm not taking the airs. You're not going to take them either. Let's take a look. Gaznoko has actually been more successful at taking the airs uh, in this one set so far. Like this, you know. This time I was mm. ready for this one. And Goichi trying to escape. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no. He actually got some good damage on that one. right there. Yeah. The challenge, though, Goichi. Okay, he's going to delay the, the, the cross-up right there. Let's go. The boot. Okay, Kazunoko, that spot early on again. Uses that for a gauge or free cut as expected. Okay. Oh, the oh DP! <laughs> oh, man. And the medium punish, that's a lot of damage. Let's go. Uh huh. I said, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, got more than enough here. Okay. There we go. Goichi, did he just say it's serious time? One down, two to go. Goichi knows. I mean, you know, there is, there is a Goichi that has been absolutely amazing throughout the, the, the years, you know, lately. It's the Goichi that has, uh, you know, that has no more room for maneuver. That's when he becomes ultra instinct Goichi. That's when he becomes absolutely unbeatable. And right now he's trying to channel this. And that Dragon Rush is finally text. That's it, man. El Grande go Uno. That's him. Okay. Oh, oh jump. Jump. Yep. Let's go. Man like Goichi is going to work right now. Yep. Down time. Here we go. He's going to get that level 3. Gets himself the corner back as well on this. 
good option for Goichi, and Kazunoko has been looking lost this game. Is this the final form? Okay, yeah, not Goichi. Yes, Kazunoko has been very good at taking though, so far. Ooh, that was a risky super dash. I'm surprised Goichi didn't do it. That and he jumps away. That's a dead good thing. Just a clean jump right there. He's got that punish on the way down. And Kazunoko down to his final character, and it's Master Roshi. Not the guy you want to be left with in a serious match like this. <laughs> He's trying to uh, stop him from coming in, but the AS is once again covering Goichi. Let's go. Yep. All right. Goichi goes into level three here. Kibu half knockdown situation. Kazunoko. Only Roshi remaining. That's a tough one. He has. Okay. I mean, got that punish. Joe's got a grounded punish here. Probably going to go into max power, or maybe not. Yes, he will. The shades. See you, Roshi. Oh, oh the IAD! The one down, yo. Silent. <laughs> I'm watching this. Like, I know we've described uh, Roshi as Kazunoko's weaker character, but imagine! <laughs> so I'm saying, imagine a comeback. It can happen. It can happen. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, doesn't care. My man's got Cancelina like crazy, and he's getting wow. right now. Okay, okay, I see you. Master Roshi, the master. Ten man down. Oh, man. He tried to make it a reality. He wanted to run back with Goku, but Goichi says no. You know, I actually like, uh, I actually like Goichi's approach right now, so... He saw that Kazunoko is using Dragon Rushes a lot, and he saw that he isn't taking them consistently today online. So he yeah. decided he will preemptively, preemptively jump back to avoid them. And that's twice in this set he actually jumped back and punished the, the Dragon Rush. He did to Roshi, he did to Gotenks earlier. Uh, that's him, you know, adapting to the environment as well. Uh, Goichi saves one match point. It is 4-3 between Kazunoko and Goichi. Can Kazunoko get that one game? One game for doing, you know, the thing yeah. that we were all asking, can, can this happen? Can he beat him? Regardless, man, we're going to go down. It's a 4-3 situation. Still in Kazunoko's favor. Still on set point. Just needs to win this one game here to take it away and defeat the previously undefeated Goichi here in the National Championships. Goichi, of course, does not want to let that perfect record go, go down. Uh, he wants to keep. He wants to keep the Ws. He wants no Ls, just Ws. Um, but let's go, guys. Match number eight. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if. Uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Kazunoko four, Goichi three, and Goichi immediately gets the first pickup. Yeah, first one there for him. Oh, look at that! And he still got out. Two on four H, and he uses that Roshi DP. Nice. Nice break. There we go. You can't defense get back. Yeah, you can't get away with those all the time. Good tech again. Okay. Whoa, nice. the pick up. Great choice right there. I mean, he's got UI. Ah, uh, level three. Realizing that, no, DHC would not have killed, so just get that knockdown. Try and force spark, I guess. He knew, he knew he was the spark. There he is. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's seen that Kazunoko is always sparking to save his first character. So, rightly so, he slowed down at this moment. But Kazunoko was one step ahead as well. He's gonna build a lot of meter of this. Okay. Level 3 with Gotex. Okay, what's it gonna be, guys? Kazunoko still holding on. And that kid doing it is working. There you see, this is Goichi actually not trusting his defense. Yo, you oh. got it. You press one if you got it. I thought you would land behind. Damn, that was so hard to see. There we go. One, e two, e t. Oh. Okay, I see them ones in the chat, man. I see the them ones in the chats. Yeah, donuts here. Ex for the plus frames. Okay, he's out. Oh no. UI Goku! He's always waiting, man. He's always waiting. And the T-Assist there gets a nice extension for that one. Yeah, T-Assists really do offer GT Goku some really nice extensions mid-screen that he previously didn't have, so I actually respect that choice. Yeah, definitely. That's a dead. Go thanks, Goichi. Making a statement. Goichi is looking like he's on his way to a 4-4. Oh, yeah. What? what? Whoa, wait a, whoa, wait a second. This bottom is so cursed, Harold. 
<laughs> Very good. This okay. button is so... It's, it's kind of crazy, man. It, it's it's kind of crazy. There we go. Time is Max Maxi power. The shades are on here. Oh, I, he, no, he was too far. Yeah, he had the hit, but not the right conversion on this. Oh, man. But, oh, he keeps him safe. He's out. Yoji trying to escape. Kazunoko, this full life Roshi is holding the pressure right now. Oh, my goodness. The power pole. The pogo right there. Yep. Down high, go with you. Back in the driver's seat. Have you seen how cool oh. this was? You're like, you're trying to come, man. You are, you are assist is there. A great one, man. The reflect into the 2 edge Gucci is still looking good right now. It's gonna extend. And I think you can get enough to kill with this, yes. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Yep, that's it. Gucci. And he's gonna keep DP Goku in there. To deal with this UI. Okay, I see. Kazunoko, man, he has been unable to pull this one away. Goichi saw the reality of defeat and he didn't like it. Oh, so, oh no. He saw the, a glimpse of defeat fighting back right now. Listen, you want to try that? Listen, that just showed how desperate you are right there, man. Kazunoko tried it. Last ditch effort, but Goichi shut it down. 2 H. And that's going to be last game situation for us here, guys, in the main event of today. Last match. Yo, like, I'm not going to lie. This is looking very, very good right now uh, for both of them. We get to final game on this. Listen, Kazunoko had such a strong statement, but Goichi just stepped up. I was like, oh, okay, stepped up, adapt to my opponent right now. Final game. It is a 4-4. Four -four. It is the first one to know which one of these you will, uh, you know, be in a better position for a playoff. And because it is a 4-4 situation town, I believe that Fenrich will remain first regardless. Because even if Goichi wins, Fenrich will be at plus 20 and Goichi will be at plus 19. Uh, yes. So, I mean, regardless, anyway, these two, they will fight each other next week. So if Goichi wins, the first place will be decide, decided uh, next week. If Goichi loses, there is a good chance that Fenrich takes that first place. But 4-4, final game, chat, press 1 for Kazunoko, press 2 for Goichi, press some buttons for the final game of this Let's hype go. Set. Let's go. It's been a great one so far. Uh, it's shame about the little interruption on our end. The players, however, have not been interrupted, so they are still keeping that momentum going. Let's go, guys. Last game of the day. Scraggle fight is Championship oh. Six. Let's go. Whoa, what happened there? Try to follow up the train combo. Okay. Next, the oh, the staircase worked. Right. I'm not sure what Gucci was doing on this. Oh, man. And okay, and it's too late. to get the follow up here. Okay, oh, sure. Mark up. Early, early from Goichi. That's a big win for Kazunoko. So God cancels in, but the vanish, he vanished too early. Yeah, vanish is not gonna work on this. But Kazunoko now in semi control, at least there is no more spark for him. Just gonna try to get something on that UI Goku. Another guard cancel. Goichi has been very active in defending so far. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You have to respect it. Got the hit right there on this UI. Kazunoko in trouble. Maybe even a spark, although Goichi, I don't know if he can kill on the next hit. Yeah, spark, yeah. Other Every ways. time. As always, he's saving the team composition there. And great loss. Kazunoko is waiting right now. Goichi, at least, lets that sparking go out. And no more spark on both sides. We're doing it without. Damn. Yeah, she got out of there. Okay. Goichi will take that corner back in. Yeah. Okay. Probably going to go for a straight jump. What's it going to be now? Oh, Kazunoko dashing up on him. Disrespectful 5L. Pressing buttons when he wants to, this is not when you tell it. Okay. That's gonna be good damage as well. Straight to go, thanks. Chen Sumoru! Yeah, here we go. Set it up. Volleyball time. Let's see what the pressure's gonna be. Post level 3 pressure. IAD. Oh my goodness, I think he backed off to the 2 edge. Maybe for a tag. Okay, here we go. Ghost on the way. Call the boys. Yes. yes. Boys are there. Unrestrained on wake up, maybe? No, the reflect from Goichi there. Okay, defense, but oh! getting caught by that BSC that also auto corrected. Bam! Yo, and again, Blair Witch Project, guys. Goes to here. What's it gonna be? Oh! 
That's what I was expecting. That that unrestrained oh. win is actually pretty good against this kind of uh, mix-up, unless you, you hard bait it. So that Kid Buu now getting the level three is gonna be a mix for Goichi right now. There's a lot of blue life on Kazunoko's side. Okay. Yeah. Go. Got the hit right there, and he's gonna tag in that Go Tank surely. Nice, surely. And he's keeping the, in the corner as well. I like that. Miracle oh, no. punches! No, he didn't, have the, he didn't have the bar. Oh, he was just shy of yeah. one meter. And, and the assist was still locked, so he couldn't yeah. get the assist extension to this. It's back to the goal. It... Oh man, here we go. That was amazing cover by Kazunoko because Goichi once again jumped out of a Dragon Rush. And look at this, Kazunoko is building as much as he can. Not much bar for him, so no Ghost Toki. Goichi attacking against the Dragon Rush. The defense is becoming clutch. Let's go, let's go. Oh man, yeah, he's unable to uh, get any more meter build from that combo. Go Toki, uh, meet and Earth, we're still there. Here we go, Goichi now. Trying to find his way in, trying to thread that needle. Pressure now. He's capable. Yep, good one there for sure. Kazunoko, pressing yeah. buttons! It's becoming a very tense one. The trade's oh. gonna wait for this. Kazunoko blocking. Goichi looking for the oh. one. That's gonna be a 6M. Yep. Oh, he's got a lot of bars. I think that's a dead go tanks, Terrence. It might yeah. just be. Yeah, he's yeah. got enough beat here. He's got seven bars on deck. That's gonna do it. I think Goichi maybe had a glimpse of defeat. He saw the reality that could be the perfect streak getting painted there, and he didn't like it. Fighting back dead, now. Yeah, dead Gotenks and Goichi now taking the lead after a long stretch of 116 seconds remaining. We've played for about three minutes for the first character to come down and Goichi now on the lead. Kazunoko looking to do something with the Ultra Instinct Goku. It reflects there, great choice. No, oh, that A assist! Risk. Well, I mean, is it ever risky to call air assist? I don't know. No, 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 no. the Dragon Rush was risky oh, the, play, yeah. the assist. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead okay. yet, he's not dead yet. Okay. It is. Oh, tried to put himself in the corner. The low! Goichi and Kazunoko left with the final character for him in this set, and it's Master Roshi. He's gonna have to make a miracle happen. Vanish Absolutely. Here. With that, Roshi is looking really hard. Ooh. You know, you know, I was about to say he has not used the command grab yet in the entire set, and the one time he Jumped uses out. it, Goichi jumped out of this one. Yeah. Kazunoko looking for the way in right now, but Goichi's defense is looking really good. He's got UI Goku as well, so he can 6 ace He's kind of stop. Oh. What a movement! Oh, he jumped straight over that all right there. The key blast from Roshi he jumped straight over. He's going to get himself some good damage here. I don't know about killing, but nah. it's going to be a good situation regardless. Level three, step it up. Okay, has an okay. Oh, the shades are off. You knock the shades off. It's done. It's done. No shades, no win, bro. Yeah. Oh, no. Listen, you he can't, can't see him. it. He can't see. Wait, can he not? He's dead, 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 actually. He's dead. Oh, my God. Goichi completes the crazy comeback. Kazunoko was so dominant at the beginning of the set. Goichi just switched on, adapted to his opponents, and Kazunoko could not do a thing. That's a three-win streak as well for Goichi. What an incredible clutch save. As I'm saying, man, the shades, they came off. Um, it's not going to be enough. You couldn't see that dash up grab, and Goichi will get it right there. Listen, he's, I think he saw, he was like, you know what? I could actually lose. Let me try and actually win this, you know? Let me try and actually do this. Got the win right there. Good stuff. I honestly can't believe what I just saw. It's like the the clutch that Goichi showed uh, today, you know, like being able to completely stop so much from happening, being able to just stop the momentum from his opponents. I'm like, damn, it's like that was extremely, extremely convincing. Goichi remains undefeated, but damn, did Kazunoko come close, man. I hope we get to see this one again yeah, know, at sick. the final that playoffs because that was a sick match.